I stole something. Oh yeah, I guess we all stole something. No, I stole something else. What did you steal? Let's call it a going away present. Then I'd be spineless, I'm going insane I think my mind just goes out of control And touch on subjects motherfuckers read about I touch on the shit that they be leaving out I've seen this motherfuckers not smoking i seen the same nigga with the nine Tied with his eyes open And simply what this means is He didn't know that every dog had his date Until he seen his I bet you motherfuckers will too Because it's time Something in the water, man. It, it's got to be in the water. Oh, fuck. Chuck's on a killing spree again. We guillotine for men. I walk around town with a frown on my face. Fuck the whole world. Gonna catch a murder case. The murder rate. Make it crease if you caught up in the world while it's dying. I guarantee you fry. Cause I on the verge of knocking motherfuckers out for no reason. Once I get down, I'll be no breathing. It seems with motherfuckers wanna calm down. Put his palm down. Seems like I still lay the law down. Now that was all right. What you wanna do? I'm asking. just decided today. I wasn't keeping it from you. You already have a ticket. I'm sorry. Okay. Imagine we're at a party and someone says, oh, what are you doing this summer? And my friends are like, oh, we're all going to Alaska for three months. And we're leaving in two weeks. And it was the first you'd ever heard of it. Okay, I told you I wanted to go to Sweden. You told me it would be cool to go. Opportunity to go, so I decided to do it. I have no problem with you going. I just wish you'd involve me. Well, I just apologize, Danny. You didn't apologize. <laughs> you said sorry, which sounds more like too bad. Yeah, maybe I should just go home. I'm just trying to understand. And I tried apologizing. I don't need an apology. I just want to talk about it. Well, I think I should just probably go home. I'm not trying to attack you. Well, that's what it feels like. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I just got confused. Okay? Come on. Come on, sit with me. I'm sorry. I overreacted. I, you know, I think going to Sweden could be great for you. I think it's amazing. Are you going for your thesis? I don't know what thesis is. I know. It could be inspiring, right? I think I'm just gonna go. Please, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overreact, please. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry too. I just, I just get paranoid and I'm just dealing with all this stuff and all this panic and I, I overreacted and I'm sorry and I'm not, I'm not trying to accuse you or put pressure on you or anything. I, I just got crazy for a second. I know. I didn't mean to project. It's, it's okay. I'm 
I'm sorry too. I, I was gonna ask you to come. What do you mean? To Sweden? To Sweden? <laughs> you don't want me to come. Well, I just asked you. Yeah, after I broke down crying. Well, you ruined the surprise. I thought it was gonna be romantic. Please. You know, when you said you wanted to be friends, I actually believed you. I do want to be friends. You could have told me you were coming. I thought you'd say don't come. You look different. Shined my shoes, ironed my clothes, did my homework. I do my homework now. You want to go get some chow mein? Parker, I'm getting married. I always pictured you getting married on a hilltop. And who was the groom? You hadn't decided yet. You think just because you came to see my play, you can talk me out of getting married? You once told me that you loved me. And, and I let things get in the way. There, there was something that I thought I had to do, but I, I don't have to do it. Too late. Will you at least think about it? Think about what? Picking up where we left off. Where was that? We never got on, Parker. I don't, I don't think it's that simple. Of course you don't think that, because you complicate things. You don't understand. I'm not an empty seat anymore. I'm different. Punch me, I bleed. Look. I understand why you were mad at me. I understand why I've been a total jerk, but I said that I would always be there for you, and then I wasn't. MJ, I promise things are going to be different this time. Why are things going to be different now? Because you started wearing your glasses? Because I can't, I can't tell you why, but, but just I, I promise, MJ, you don't have to worry about it because- You can't tell me? You can't tell me, Parker? God, if you can't tell me, if you can't trust me, then nothing's changed. God, it's always you and your secrets, right? And I'm getting married in a church, Parker. Thank you for the flowers. I... I think you are different, though. Wire. Okay. Why? Kick you out. Okay, listen, I know that you're still really hurt about everything that happened, but I want to try to be close now, to This you. is fucking barbed wire. Okay, I I'm not responsible if you get hurt. I, I want to wall myself off from the world, and you can't say anything about it, so go. Get the hell out of my life. I don't want to get the hell out of your life. I love you still. I just... Don't love you in the way I need you so that I can love, live with you. See this? This is lava. Okay, will you stop and talk to me? No, lava is like a billion degrees and it'll burn the shit out of you. So if you know what's good for you, you're gonna go get away. What are you doing? Hey, hey, that's, that's cheating. My barbed wire is like six feet tall. You didn't say how tall it was. You set the rules. What 
you doing? Fighting back. Oh, I'm, there's no fighting back because I'm not fighting. I, I can't anymore. I, please, I can't. No, you need to stop being stupid. I'm stupid. I'm not the one walking out of a perfectly fine relationship. It's not fine. Not at all, but you can't see that. What are you drawing? It's a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, what? Do you remember how we met? I was at the snack bar, and then you walked up and you were like, what's good to eat here? And I said, I don't know. And you were like, well, the grilled cheese sandwich looks good. So we both ordered the grilled cheese. It's pretty awesome, too. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, stop, stop, stop. This, these are cannons capable of deploying the uranium depleted warheads that could level a city block. I don't care. Shut up. I hate you more than anything in the world right now. This morning when you thought I was sleeping, I heard what you told me. I, I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. You leaned down to kiss me and then you said it. No. No. I love you no matter what. Well, why didn't you say something back? Because if I turned around and said I love you too, I wouldn't be leaving. We draw out this falling apart for weeks, maybe months. I have to leave. Leave me halfway. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I love you. I love you always. Oh, yeah. Okay, enough with the moaning. Oh, God, I forgot how good no, it feels. Take it easy, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, that means it's ending. Don't do no, that. Yeah, I no, think that's enough for you. I don't I want it to it end. Is. I think it's enough. No, it's not. Keep going. I'm not going to keep going, Jim. I've done this for you like a million times, and you've never done it for me once. Not once. Oh, right. <sighs> Time to stretch it out. Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding? Look, you can't <laughs> rush greatness, okay? If you want to experience the ancient art of phrenology, you really need to wait and get it done right. Um, come again? <laughs> well, if you had seen the classic film Men at Work by, uh, with Emilio Estevez and Martin Sheen, oh, you would I'm know. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you would know. You would know. <laughs> mm -hmm. That it's when you interpret someone's skull features and oh. kind of see what's going on in there. Uh, obviously. You see, I, I get up in here and I say, you see that knot? Mm -hmm. That says you're a terrible cook. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, I get this straight from the skull features. Mm -hmm. You are a lover of animals. Uh, yeah, you know that already because I told you I work at a dog rescue. <laughs> Tell me about your doggies. I haven't really heard you talk about them much. Well... Um, it was Chris's idea, actually. What's that? That I open a dog rescue. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I love the idea of you hanging out with Freddy like greyhounds and, you know, taking care of them. Well, I miss Freddy. We don't really do the greyhound thing. What do you mean? You were like the greyhound queen. Well, you know, they're, they're just not practical. Chris pointed it out and... We run a small organization, and it's manageable. 
I guess... You love greyhounds. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought of them like people in fur coats. <laughs> <laughs> I just have always felt understood by them. That makes sense. I mean, they want to be around people that, I don't know, feel what they feel. I can't explain it. It's just, I can tell that they know that being out in the world is hard and they feel it. And they, they want to make you feel better. They, they want to be nuzzled up and, you know, you could take a greyhound, even with all the things that come with owning them or caring for them or rehabilitating them. And you take the oldest, neediest, most anxious greyhound and you take that dog to the beach. You take off his collar. Fucking run! <laughs> he will tear down that beach and sand flying everywhere and his tongue hanging out of his mouth <laughs> as if he were young. I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. I think you should think about working with greyhounds. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Especially after I took all your money in poker. Yeah. Hey, can I uh, talk to you about something? Uh, about when you want to give me more of your money? Because no. we can do that now. I mean, I'm feeling really good tonight. I was, um, in love with you. What? I'm really sorry if that's weird for you to hear. I needed you to hear it. It's probably not your timing. I know that, I just... What are you doing? What do you expect me to say to that? I just needed you to know. Once. Well, uh... I can't. Yeah. But you have no idea... Don't do that. ...what your friendship means to Once. me. I don't want to do that. I want to be more than that. Sorry if you misinterpreted our friendship. It's probably my fault. It's not your fault. I'm sorry, I am um, misinterpreted our friendship.
You are late for dance rehearsal. I was dirty. You're impossibly fast and ice cold. <laughs> Sometimes you speak like you're from another time. Ahoy, mateys! How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? This many days. Happy birthday! Thanks. <laughs> As if you could outrun me. As if you could out jump me. As if you could fight me off. As if you could fight me off. I can't get down. I need your help. I can't get down. I'm so scared. I'm so high up. I don't know what to do. Uh, please help me. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Hang on tight, monkey. Spider. Oh, uh, okay. oh, oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. Okay. I did it. Do you like it? I'm king of the world! I'm king of the world.